Hey guys, in today's video, I want to show you how to do a frequency separation in Photoshop. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, this is my image, and the first thing I want to do is to hit on Ctrl J to duplicate the image, and then I want to whiten the teeth and the eyes. So, I usually go to black and white layer. And then I hit on Ctrl I to invert it. Then I hit on B for my brush tool. I make sure that my brush is small. And I make sure that my foreground color is set to white so that I can paint on this um, eyeball here. So you want to zoom in and then reduce your brush size so that you can paint on it. Okay, you come to this side also and you paint on the eyes. Now mind you, this is the quick retouching that designers need to know. It's not really for photography, but it can be applied on photography also. But um, the one for photography is usually more detailed than this. So, um, you just make sure that it's you can touch as much as possible on the teeth. If you make any mistake, you can just hit on X and clean clean that out. So uh, you can keep painting. Make sure your foreground color is at white. If not, you will be erasing what you just put there. Now, while there are much more other ways that you can whiten the teeth, I just feel this is the one that is a bit easier. And yeah, you can see the before and the after. So you can also use blend mode to make sure this. Um, you can use blend mode just to check which one fits in very well but if you cannot find a blend mode just reduce the opacity so that it doesn't need to fit and i'll leave it at this so i want to flatten my image All right. next thing i want to do is to remove the pimples on the face so i'll go to spot healing two and then i'll remove the pimples on the face Okay, I'm going to remove all these big pimples on the face. You don't want to remove all of them so that you can still keep a natural feel to the image. So you just keep removing the ones that are too visible. You want to keep some for that natural look also. Like the one on the nose here, I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to just remove every other thing. Okay. So I think we're okay with that. You can see go more detailed. But like I said, this is for mainly graphic design. Um, style of retouching you you need to just make sure that your picture is well presentable especially when uh, the picture was not retouched from the studio by the main photographer so you have to learn how to retouch as a designer <coughs> all right um, next thing I want to do is to apply um, the frequency separation action here yeah, so i'm going to go to advanced frequency separation so i'm going to link this in the description below the action so i'm going to leave my radius at four and then when it loads i'm going to hop on to here and then i'm going to turn off my high frequency and then go to my low frequency and then go back to my brush tool and then mix that brush tool Make sure here is in transparent and reduce the wet to like 18 or 19. And 
then you are good to go so what you want to do is just to brush on the image but just make it natural don't overdo it so you can see has blending in so you just want to follow the shape of the face you want to follow the shape of the face and target those areas very well you can see it I feel the weight is too much I'm just going to reduce it so that I can blend this thing very well Okay, so you see your before and the after. So I'm going to flatten this image. Alright, so the next thing I want to do now is to duplicate this layer and convert it to a smart object and go back to my camera or filter. Now this is where I usually do color grading, especially for flyer designs. Like I said, this is not um a photo retouching for photographers is for designers to be able to improve their workflow and not work with bad images okay so first thing i want to do is to reduce my highlight a bit so that the details on the shirt will come out then increase my shadows you want to increase your texture a bit and your clarity also then your vibrance just a bit so you have your before and the after then go over to detail and increase your sharpening then over to your color mixer so here you can change the colors of anything you want to change i want to make this a bit um yeah this color um, you can increase the saturation also yeah so you can see how it is okay then the orange affects the skin so you don't want it to be too much then i think these are the only two colors that are here then yellow yellow is on the um clothes there but i want to remove the yellows then there is no other color these are the three colors that are on this image so you can see the before and the after and um, this is basically what or the only thing that designers really do here you can come over to your selection and then you can either select the subject the sky or the background um in this case i want to select the subject because I want to I want to add more detail to her dress. I want to add more detail to her dress. So you can see that the AI is selecting the image. So once the AI is done selecting the subject, it's finding people in the photo. Alright, so try and mind you, we are done with
all right so it has created a mask on the um on the subject so you can come here to either um, add or subtract the mask so if i use a brush i can subtract the mask so if i come here i can subtract the mask so the mask is not going to show on her face here like this so still on the dress i can come in here and then i can reduce the x the highlights and i can add um saturation or i can decrease the whole saturation of the cloth so that it becomes black and white yeah, i can see add temperature to the cloth to have a blue kind of temperature to it or or tint so they may not really show because it's, it's in black and white you can still reduce the exposure of the dress so that it's not over saturated or it's not over brightened yeah and just hit ok to come out from this um, window so you are going to see the before and the after so the effect has been applied and this is the after and this is the before um, this is the after this is the after then if you want to see how it was with all the pimples and everything if i go back to here you can see it so this is the very much before and then this is the after so if you enjoyed this video kindly leave a sub and like this video and um, also share this video to people that you want to watch content like this and if you found this video helpful kindly leave a comment to see how um, helpful this video was and till then i'm going to see you in the next video